name is Asia Nicholson and I am really excited that like myself you have chosen to embrace love and kindness this election year with Civic Revival. Now I am super and particularly drawn to the Anne campaign because of their consistency with upholding a biblical standard of engaging with these really tense worldviews in election years and in political spaces. They've been such a help to me and they've been such a voice in communities all over globally and I'm so excited to be doing this with them. Now, we actually are embarking on a pretty powerful and radical movement and challenge and it's a challenge to see humans as human beings instead of just political abstractions like we typically do when things get tense in the political arena. And I'm really excited about it and this challenge is rooted in James chapter 3 verses 9 through 10. Now for me, this verse, these verses really resonate because so often I find myself being super passionate about something and I'm really excited and I'm going to tell all my friends and I'm on social media and then I get really aggressive and I actually get really mean and I start to get a little bit unlike Christ but then I have the nerve to go bless God while I'm cursing a fellow image bearer. And so this challenge and these verses are calling us to a higher standard and are calling us to a way of living that can recognize these tense moments in humanity, recognize these tense political moments that we have with image bearers and our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and are calling us to remember that they are made in God's image. That it is okay to have tense moments. It is completely normal. It is expected. It doesn't throw God off guard when moments of tension happen. But what we need to remember is that we are all made in the same image. We are all made in the image of God. What would it look like if we could bless God and bless our fellow image bearers simply because they're image bearers? And so I want to encourage us to be a little bit slower in how we engage with these tense moments this political season as we remember that the same tongue that blesses the Lord is also going to be held accountable for how we speak to our fellow image bearers this political season. I'm really excited to be doing this and I'm excited to see how the Lord moves in this space this uh, political season. Thank you so much for joining us. I know for a fact that we are making a tangible difference in our direct communities and beyond.